that the only way to be truly happy is to hear about Krishna, to meditate on the true nature of yourself and your relationship with Krishna. This is called Harikata. This is the way to happiness. And when we learn to please Krishna, then we become supremely blissful because this is the purpose of our own Atma. Shakti Parinambar as expansions of the divine potency of Krishna, Sri Radha, coming from the energy potency, part and parcel of the absolute truth. When we are endeavoring to please our beloved Krishna, realizing Krishna as our beloved, then we can relish ananda or bliss. We can realize this relationship with Krishna by chanting the Mahamantra. We can chant this together. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Krishna Krishna. Hare Hare. Hare Rama. Hare Rama. Rama Rama. Hare Hare. By chanting this mantra, then you can realize your spiritual nature and your relationship with Sri Krishna. Krishna is the all-attractive, the reservoir of all beauty, pleasure, love. Anything beautiful in this world is just a tiny spark of the original beauty of Sri Krishna. Anything wondrous, anything amazing. Krishna said, this entire world, whatever beauty you see, whatever splendor you see, is simply a spark of my beauty, of my splendor. So we meditate on Sri Krishna. And that Krishna, he is Om. When we chant Om, this Om has three parts. Aum begins in the throat, opens, comes into the cavity of the mouth and ends with the lips. Ah, this is creation. Oh, this is maintenance. Ma, this is devastation. The cycle of birth and death in Sangsara. But there's another force behind that. When we say Om, this is the beginning of the Bhagavatam. Janmadhyasya yaton vayari taratas Charteshva bigyasvarat Tene brahma hridhaya adi kavaye Muyanti atsuraya Tejo vari mridam yatavini mayo Yatratri shargo mrisha I meditate upon that absolute truth from whom all creation, maintenance, and devastation arise and who is the source of everything, 